Hi, welcome to another video. I'm Jenna. I formulate cosmetics in the UK. Today we're going to be making a basic moisturising hand lotion and we're going to theme it for Halloween. So here's our formula. Uh, we're doing a 150 gram batch, which will make you three little 50 gram jars. If you want to know where to buy the equipment, the ingredients to make the recipe in this video, then that's all linked below in the description for you. Along with a batch calculator in case you need help converting grams to percent weight. So first we've got our water phase. Uh, we've got 100.5 grams of distilled water and to that we're adding 3 grams of vegetable glycerin. Uh, this is your humectant, so this will be the moisturising part, or at least one of them. Give that a quick stir and then put it to one side while we work on our oil phase. In a separate beaker we're adding our fractionated coconut oil our jojoba oil, our C12-15 to alkyl benzoate, which is our ester to stop the greasy feeling. Then we're adding our shea butter. This is our moisturizer and also acts as a humectant. This is our emulsifying wax. And then we're also adding satyryl alcohol uh, because this will give a really nice, feel, luxurious feeling uh, to the lotion. Now we need to take both phases and we need to heat them in a water bath to approximately the same temperature. Make sure you weigh your water phase first um, so that you can replace any water that evaporates during the heating phase. So once both of your phases have heated, you can add the water phase to the oil phase. Then you want to go straight in with your shear mixer. Um, you can get these online, it's just a normal hand blender, um, but it has fast blades so you get a really good mix. And make sure you mix that thoroughly. It will be quite thin at this point. Um, it will thicken up over time as it cools. Blend it periodically until it's cooled to below 40 degrees C and then you can add your phase C ingredients which are your preservative and your fragrance oil which we're using a Halloween theme and then your vitamin E. Our fragrance oil is sort of a blackberry and licorice type mix. Uh, it's called Halloween Treat and you can get it from Pure Scented. They do some really nice fragrances. So we're going to give those a quick stir in and then we're going to hit it with our shear mixer again and um, just to make sure it's evenly blended throughout. And then what I'm going to do is divide the mix into three beakers because we're going to use three different colours for our Halloween theme. So now you've got it portioned into three, we're going to add our colour pigment. So we're going to use green and orange and purple. To help disperse the pigment evenly, I'm going to give each one just a little spritz of 99% isopropyl alcohol um, because it will just help the pigment not to clump when you mix it in. Um, you can shear mix this in if you want, but obviously I've put these in beakers which are too small for my shear mixer, so I'm just going to do it by hand. Now we need to check the pH. Uh, we need a pH of around 4.5 to 5.5. I'm using this pH meter, it's linked below if you want to get one. It means that you can put it in lotions and you don't have to make a dilution in water first. So we pop it in and once it stops flashing it will give us our final pH. So 
So we've ended with 4.91, which is perfectly within our range, so we're happy with that. So I've got these lovely frosted glass 5 gram jars, and this is what I'm going to use to fill with my lotion. You'll notice that it does thicken up over time as the shea butter in the formula will firm back up. It's a lovely basic formula that you can customise by changing up the oils, butter used and using different scents and colours if you like. I just went for a Halloween theme since it's October. If you like this video then check out my others and like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my other Halloween videos this month because I've got quite a few planned. And I also have a Patreon uh, linked below. Uh, which has exclusive recipes, guides and help with UK regulations along with small business mentoring to help your, you grow your small cosmetics business in the UK. That's all linked below. Um, don't forget that this is an aqueous formula, meaning that it includes water. So if you intend to gift or sell this lotion uh, in the UK, then you will need both a stability and a challenge test done. Uh, I have a video on this here, which you may want to check out next.